again. So welcome everyone to our first meeting of 2022 uh, for your DLF's museums cohort. Um, so we're just a heads up that we're recording today's meeting and it'll be shared on Clear DLF's YouTube channel. So keeping video on or off is completely up to you. Just wanted to give everyone a heads up. Um, I've shared it in the chat, but the agendas and meeting notes document for the year are at uh, bit.ly slash DLF Museums 2022, instead of a nice long Google link, we've, I've learned. Um, so um, if you haven't already in the shared notes, um, add your name, your institution, pronouns, and just you know whether you're new or returning uh, attendee of the cohort today. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with the shared notes doc, we encourage meeting attendees to take collaborative notes and therefore reference later, either for folks who attended the meeting, if there's any links, notes, et cetera, you wanna make sure you remember later, or for anyone who won't be able to join us in person who will be watching the meeting later. Um, it's nice to be able to ha have some notes from the meeting to refer to. So feel free to jot down any, any relevant information in there. Um, so, oh, and I apologize, I, for, I don't know if I introduced Gail Schechter, I'm the program associate for DLF. Um, so just really super briefly, just because um, these slides are linked to in the meeting notes and any links to stuff that you want to find out more about the cohort are available right in the slides there. Um, but just really brief for anyone new or people who are a little less familiar with museums cohort. Um, so the cohort has been around since 2015. It was started uh, basically as an exclusive group of DLF members, um, museum members of DLF, um, with support from the Samuel H. Crass Foundation. Uh, in 2018, with um, some additional support from Crest, we uh, opened a call for new members to the cohort and expanded uh, with an additional 14 institutions joining up that year. Uh, again, this was still just, uh, you know, a smaller, a, you know, smallish group, um, and it was just open to uh, staff and those working at those museums. So in 2019, um, the, the cohort opened up uh, to uh, basically anyone with museum interest, to just put it very broadly. Um, we sort of like re um, DLF's working groups, we wanted to make sure that it was open to um, all, regardless of whether you are affiliated with one of our members or not. It's just, you know, open, open access, open, open, equitable things. That's what we're about here at DLF. So, um, and actually 2019 uh, in the fall is when I uh, started working for CLEAR and um, took over the cohort from uh, the previous DLF staff member, Becca Kwan, who uh, sort of started up the cohort originally with the member museums. Um, so now we're at 2022, um, two years into, <laughs> uh, you know, pandemic and, uh, over the past couple of years since I've been uh, working with DLF, we've had um, continued to have monthly meetings of the cohort and we've had some really great uh, speakers come to us and talk about a really nice wide variety of topics and just generally a nice sort of gathering place to fill a need for the community because there's this sort of overlap of museums folks, you know, museum library folks with digital library and archives practitioners, and there's a lot of, you know, gray area and overlap in a lot of the institutions, particularly smaller ones. So we wanted to just, you know, we're sort of a gathering point for all these folks. Um, so the plan for 2022 is just because um, due to constraints on staff time, uh, we are going to, DLF staff, i.e. myself, uh, will be organizing, uh, as opposed to monthly meetings in 2022, we're gonna do one a quarter, and you'll see on the share notes, the dates of all the meetings for outside of, you know, a meeting at DLF forum, which is uh, sort of in the works to um, 
brainstorm about. <laughs> but uh, in terms of meetings you can attend that are not at a conference that you have to register for, uh, we'll have four meetings this year, uh, today, April, July, and October. Um, that's not to say that we won't return to a monthly meeting format in the future, just for right now, um, DLF is taking some time to figure out what are some future directions for museums cohort, because it's a little, even though it's open uh, to participation, like all of our working groups, it's sort of a little bit different. And so we, we want to remain, remain a dedicated space for the community. And I'll, in the next slide, I'll explain some of the ways we, we will do that. Um, but we wanted to sort of, as a program, really look into what are some potential next steps for museums cohort. So it's very much uh, in the infancy of planning right now. So as we have updates, we will, of course, share them with the group. Um, and, you know, it's sort of a, you know, if you have thoughts on the cohort, you're always welcome to get in touch with us as well, where we try and keep thing, the lines of communication open that way. Uh, so sort of in, you know, to elaborate a little bit on what our plans are for this year. So we'll have the staff organized calls once a quarter. Um, however, if community members, i.e. you or, you know, anyone else um, who's involved with the cohort um, has a, a topic or, you know, anything where you um, would like to organize a meeting of the group and that could be on our standard we stand we've typically had our meetings on the last Wednesday of every month so if you want to have a meeting at that time like a you know a sort of regular museums cohort call uh, you can schedule it then if you want to schedule it at a time that is more convenient for you if that went if those Wednesdays afternoons don't work uh, we're happy to give you the same kind of support that we give to all our working groups in that you can schedule these calls on our Zoom account by getting in touch with me. <laughs> and um, you know, if you need help promoting any initiatives that you're working on uh, related to the cohort or any meetings you're planning to hold, uh, I am at your disposal in terms of support uh, in that regard. So you know, we're always happy to support you all sort of if you have something that you want to take the lead on in terms of whether it's meetings or, you know, putting together a project under the cohort. Um, yeah, the sky's the limit there. So we're always happy to have a discussion with you on that. Um, outside of meetings, we also have uh, our listserv. And again, there's links to the, I have links to the stuff in the slides of this document that you can grab later. Um, so if you haven't, if you're not already subscribed to our uh, dedicated museums cohort listserv, uh, I definitely encourage you to just to subscribe there. That's where all of the announcements related to the cohort get posted, um, as well as any kind of, you know, occasionally job postings will be in there. Um, if folks are working on something and they have a question to pose um, and it's sort of outside of our normal meeting schedule, that's another great place to ask it. It's really just meant there to be a space for the community to raise these issues that maybe other lists or forums aren't really the, you know, or in addition to. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, DLF staff are always happy to discuss your ideas for the cohort, um, including even if it's not um, something like you um, organizing a meeting on your own, if you have someone you want us to get in touch with to see if they're interested in speaking or any kind of topics you want the cohort to discover, then um, that's kind of, yeah, and you know, we're, again, it's really, there's no set rules to things. So any ideas we're open to. Um, so these are sort of the ways to stay in touch with the museum's cohort. If you're tweeting about us, the hashtag is DLF museums. Um, obviously viewing these, you won't, these are all linked, but just download the slides from the meeting notes. Um, and I'll also just, have the link to that in the chat again for you again if you are joining us a little later and don't have the link to today's meeting notes. Um, so if you want to just sort of overview of the group itself, the history of the group, um, the various, you know, link to our listserv, 
uh, and any other relevant group links like our shared drive, you can click on the link to the group overview on DLF's website. Uh, discussion list, pretty self-explanatory. Um, as I mentioned, this meeting is being recorded and um, not all past meetings, but several of our past meetings from the past couple of years have been recorded. The presentations and are available on Clear DLF's YouTube channel. So please feel free to watch those um, at your leisure. And then as always, you can contact DLF staff at info at diglib.org. Um, so in terms of the rest of the meeting, um, wanted to sort of leave things open to the group for, you know, questions, just talking about, you know, any thoughts you have on the group writ large, anything um, covered on the survey that we put out in uh, November <laughs> at the DLF forum. Uh, so we sort of with that survey got a good idea of the types of topics the group is interested in and um we're sort of using that to guide our internal planning for the group and again i don't have a ton of updates in terms of the plans but um again as we progress with those and we have a better idea of how things will take shape with the group um later in the year and beyond uh, we will, of course, uh, get the word out to you all. Um, and then I think I have it mentioned in the, actually, let me stop sharing my screen so I can see our notes again. <laughs> all right, there we go. So let me, uh, now that I can see everything. Um, so yes, yeah, so uh, our next meeting, and I mean, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but just to get, um, let you all know the next meeting that we'll have as a group um as is in april 27th and we're sort of jointly hosting that meeting with our list, um na's museum library division and uh the topic is going to be digital preservation to small to medium for small to medium sized institutions which uh that topic as a whole was one of the more popular choices from the survey we put out um, and there's certainly um, a lot of interest and in, in desire for more knowledge of that in the community. So uh, we're, you know, checking checking around to see um, who will be able to have presented that, and you know, hope to have. We'll obviously have an announcement before April, but um, again, just make sure you're subscribed to the listserv uh, for any updates on future museums. And then, as for our museums in. July and October, we don't have a set um, agenda or topic for those meetings yet. So if you have any thoughts on those or something that you wanna bring to the group, uh, info at digilib.org, feel free to email me uh, for that one as well. So now that you've heard my whole speech for today, that's kind of it from me. I kind of wanna just, um, if folks are new and you have questions about anything with the cohort, now would be a great time to I'm, I'm more than happy to address those or if anyone who's a returning cohort member has anything to throw in please please do um or if there's um if you had thoughts related to the survey itself or any of the sort of topics therein that this group covers happy to talk about them now um but yeah i'll just sort of stop talking <laughs> leave it to the group now if anyone uh you can either put it in the chat or or on mic either one is whichever works for you. Um, hi, Gail, it's Amy. I just wanted to um, express gratitude to DLF for having the inclusive spirit that um, surrounds this group. I And thank you to you for um, hosting this small off camera kind of <laughs> gathering today. I kind of feel like that might be symptomatic of at least where where I'm at as an institution, which is which is I'm sorry I'm not an institution, but where my institution is at, which is that it's um we're so small and we're so stretched right now in just trying to carry on basic functions that to me this cohort is just kind of a, a welcome nudge periodically um, and quarterly is great monthly I know I fully appreciate that that might be up to um up to members to kind of provide the impetus for some of that um but that's that's just kind of where I'm at I don't know if, if others are um, in a similar boat right now, but I just wanted to, to give voice to that 
maybe. Um, and the upcoming, the April call sounds like a fantastic topic and uh, a discussion that I would like to be part of um, if I can manage the time then. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Amy, and trust if I wasn't hosting the meeting today, I would have my camera off as well. <laughs> but uh, and that's the thing that, you know, especially in terms of pulling back a little bit from monthly meetings and sort of evaluating what may be a good direction for the cohort, we're very aware of the fact that people are very fatigued. And I mean, even, you know, personally, it's when I have groups outside of work asking me for stuff, I'm very very selective um, with my time because we're all, I think we're all sort of in varying degrees of burnt out. Um, and so, yeah, we wanted, you know, we wanted to make sure this was carrying on and not sort of abandoned just because, you know, oh, we don't have time to do a monthly meeting for everyone. So we figured this would be a good, a good way to sustain this while um, taking the time to get to really focus on what will work for this cohort. Cause I think for the past couple of years, I've been trying, or yeah, I've, I've basically been trying to um, turn this into more of a standard DLF working group. And, you know, just like you can't really fit a square peg in a round hole, so, you know, something about the nature of this group, it's a really special and important, you know, area and place for folks to come together on these, on the topics relevant to our membership, but, you know, you can't sort of force volunteerism on people. So, so that's why we're sort of, you know, we're looking into what would make sense um, opportunity wise for the group and, you know, whether that's looking into funding for stuff or et cetera, again, you know, it's all very in the inf infancy of planning, but um, we're always happy to support not just museums cohort, but the wider DLF community in any kind of initiatives you want to take on. Um, you know, our working groups are generally, or, you know, all sort of just, a lot of them just spring up out, out of conversations at DLF forum. People are like, oh, we should, uh, we should address this. And, you know, that's all of a sudden, you know, they just hit the ground running. So that's why, you know, we're always sort of like the door is always open, so to speak, to have a conversation with us if you have ideas about anything. So I always want to make sure that I'm sort of, you know, really, really sending that point, point home to folks that we're, we're always happy to listen to you all. Um, yeah, so I'll, you know, I'll, anyone else feel free to just interrupt me. I will just add, obviously, our April meeting, we're focusing on the digital preservation talk, but um, we do recognize that there's um, other needs and interests in the community. So it's, we're not planning to have all of our meetings this year focused on that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to reassure anyone if you thought like, it's just going to be a digital preservation year for museums cohort. Um, that's one thing we're doing, but it's obviously not the only thing. Um, and yeah, and there's also some overlap, um, and if you ever need resources, um, from our other working groups, uh, again, feel free to contact DLF staff, but, um, we have a few different groups that have documentation that while not necessarily aimed for museums specifically, there, you know, could be, uh, useful guidance in there. Um, I'm thinking of stuff like our Born Digital Access Working Group. Um, we also have uh, our Digital ped Pedagogy Group. If you're looking for um, more teaching resources, there's, um, sorry, I'm like, I work with working group all the time. And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, what are, what are all the working groups? Um, but you can always go to diglib.org slash groups to find out more about what our groups are doing. So I always want to make sure um, that you all know that those resources are there as well. Um, so beyond that, uh, any questions about the group? Any thoughts about, um, especially looking ahead to our July and October meetings, which I know seem far away, but 
it's already almost February. So um, any thoughts about topics you'd really like to get in front of my eyes and make sure we try and uh, maybe explore at one of those meetings? And if you can't think of something now, that's fine. You can always add it to the meeting notes later or email us. Oh, no worries. I totally, you know, but yeah, chat is totally fine for questions or comments as well. Um, I wanted to make sure I was giving folks enough time to type in the chat if they needed to, but don't see anything coming in yet. Um, but otherwise, yeah, if folks are um, a little tapped out for the day, I get that. Um, so yeah, we can sort of, you know, we can definitely end things a little early and give you back maybe a half hour of your day. I will stick around in the room. I'll stop the recording and stick around in the room for a little bit if anyone uh, wanted to chat about something off camera real quick. Um, but otherwise, uh, thank you all for coming. And um, as always, feel free to email us um, anytime with any questions about anything. And uh, looking forward to see you all uh, in April, uh, if not sooner. Um, but yeah, thank you and have a good day.